Hey, what is up everybody? I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, link this passport with this Bluetooth keyboard right here and um, this uh, mouse right here. And let's see what happens when I plug them in. The mouse is going to have to be plugged in. I got the little dongle there. So let's use it as a uh, mini computer like I've done with the Note and everything else. And we'll see how it works out. Let's get into it. Alright, so I just paired up the keyboard and it is working and I'll show you in the settings here that I actually have it already. Well, you can probably see there. You can see it's connected right there to the Enotech, which is this keyboard right here. I did a review on it a while back. So let's get out of there. And uh, I'll open up the browser here. And I'm going to turn it sideways because I want you to see me plug this in here. And uh, you can see there USB detected and you can actually see I have a mouse. Can you see that? So let's click on the browser. You can see there, it opens up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it on the stand there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And it's always really cool to get the most out of your devices, if you can. So let's go here. Now, a person might say, well, why would you use that? There's a number of reasons why you might want to use it. Um, you could just not want to type on the keyboard there. So let's get on the full keyboard here. And let's go to phonearena.com. And I am typing on this keyboard here. You can probably hear me clicking. And you can actually scroll with the... Um, little uh, four-way there or I could go ahead and use the mouse and scroll and I'm going to click on an article here and you can see it loads up uh, just like anything else like a regular computer um, this could be useful in some ways I don't know if I'd ever use it this way maybe I don't know um, let's go to YouTube, of course. It could be useful because the speakers are coming out the side there, so that could be very useful. Uh, this is actually really, really cool to be able to use this like this. Having options really is what it's about. And next I'm going to plug in uh, a thumb drive to see how it, it registers um, USB input through uh, like an 8 gig card or 8 gig thumb drive. So as you can see here, the mouse and everything is working good. Everything works like a regular computer on here. And it's nice. Hey guys, welcome back to so the volume is good. Let's see if the Bluetooth can control the volume. The first one that you can ready to see is the no, uh, I say Nokia. <laughs> Actually, it does. 640XL. So check so this out. Drop these on us. You see? Um, and there, the you can see how loud it is. 5.7 inch display. So the Bluetooth keyboard actually controls it's the volume. P, which is good for Everything. Phone, you know, I think that's really cool. Uh, it even pauses and plays. That's <laughs> really cool. Uh, on paper, it says it runs 8.1 with denim. Really cool, right? The Lumia denim update. <laughs> The BlackBerry Passport is, is a real beast. So I'm going to pause for a second and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a thumb drive. Sorry if I hit the camera there. And just to show you I wasn't messing around, let's pause and play one more time from a distance here. Okay. Uh, let's and let's see what else hit the volume. About this device. I can tell you the All hooked through Bluetooth is really cool. In there, uh, with auto focus really loud flash. camera. It also has a five minute. Let's see what happens if I press the uh, fast forward button or to the next track. Does it go to the next video? No. Alright guys, so I had to cut that video short. Um, it, I could go on and on about the usage for the keyboard and the mouse. But I decided to go ahead and give it a whirl. And it worked perfectly fine. 
You can actually use a number of keyboards. I actually have a Bluetooth combination. Um, it's pretty big, so I don't want to unhook it from my other computer, but I have a Bluetooth combination mouse and keyboard, and it'll work with that as well. And you'll just use this same dongle here, and you plug both of them into there, or you just pull, plug the one adapter in there, and both the keyboard and the mouse will work. Or you can plug in a dual splitter. If you don't have a um, Bluetooth setup, you plug in, you plug this into the phone. There's a dual jack that comes out. You can find them on online for two, three dollars. And you plug both the mouse and keyboard in, and you just need a stand, and you're good to go. So um, that is just a quick demo. And uh, I, I did work on a new intro for this video. If you saw it, uh, tell me what you think about the intro. And I'm um, trying to get one set just for BlackBerry that I won't update for a while for when I'm doing my BlackBerry videos. And um, I, ch I made that one. I thought that one was pretty sleek. So let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Be sure to rate and subscribe and, and like the video, share the video, head over to the channel, the uh, BBM channel that I now run. Um, I think it was, I love being able to talk to people directly instead of going through comments on YouTube. So even if you don't have a BlackBerry, like I always say, just install it in, in the Windows Phone Store or the iPhone App Store or the Android Store. So all of those have the BBM app and come join the channel. I'll post a picture at the end of this video and I'll see you over there. Take care, guys.